as we talked about canonicalization earlier, a lot of the atomicity and security is actually coming in place with the hierarchical longest chain rule. A cross-chain transaction is sort of a manifestation of HLCR and how state can be transferred between blockchains. What exactly is the EVM doing in Quai Network to facilitate these transactions? So essentially we had to modify the EVM sum in order to spit out what looks like a receipt. And the EVM is gonna say, this person is intending to do something that doesn't exist in my chain. I'm going to spit out some sort of result that is interpretable by the destination chain in order for that state to be applied. Those kind of verified receipts can be passed around as transactions. We have some people working on kind of verified ways for those ETXs to be processed in manifests. And so those manifests are sort of aggregated snapshots of those transactions that are being created. And then those can be kind of passed and applied and preloaded so that the data is very optimized and the bandwidth is very optimized. But on the destination end, you kind of preload it all like when it's created and then you apply the right set whenever you're aware of what is correct.